Hey everybody, it's Kevin. It's time for your two minute training. Uh, we took it outside again to uh, give you a couple of uh, good views rather than sitting in an office. A uh, little bit of a distraction though, just to let you know we have a municipal airport very close to us and as such uh, it's just about commuter time and all the fancy people are getting in their planes and heading home. So sorry about that minor distraction. Uh, we usually don't tell you what date it is just because we do a few in advance and then we air them. Uh, but today, uh, when I woke up and turned on the news, uh, they were sharing that Anthony Bourdain of CNN and, and the Food Channel had committed suicide. And just a few days ago, uh, Kate Spade committed suicide. And whenever there's a high profile suicide like that, uh, folks that are either paying attention to the news or watching TMZ or just talking to friends at the water cooler, uh, they hear about that suicide. And folks that maybe are going through a depressive time or a tough time or just really having a hard time dealing with life, they now look at what you know, Mr. Bourdain and, and Mrs. Spade have done and, and they start having thoughts maybe of suicide. Uh, I started doing some research this morning and I, I knew some of these numbers, but other than them absolutely blew me away, uh, that 123 people in America will commit suicide today. A 24 hour period, 123 people, and those are successful suicides get ready for the attempt number. 7,900 people will attempt suicide today. Now some of those are by pills, some of those are by violence, and some of those are by you know, different means that we deal with every single day. And, and what I'm trying to get at is that when someone calls and you can tell that they're in crisis, A, they're not quite right up here. And not saying bad things about mental health, what I'm saying is that they're having a hard time fighting off the voices. They're having a hard time fighting off the, why do I stick around? They're having a hard time staying with the pain as opposed to fleeing from the pain. Because one of those airplanes. So when they call us, they're asking for help. And that's exactly what we need to provide. It's a good one. And that help means staying on the phone. That means using the voice that you would use with your aunt, your uncle, your brother, your sister, your mother, and, and say, how can I help you today? What are you thinking about doing? What can I do to best help you? And one of the things we talk about is asking open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are those that I just offered. Tell me what's going on today. Because as they start answering those questions, that gives you time to get our field responders out there and hopefully get this person to a place of safety, to a place where they're not going to hurt themselves, to a place where they can get some professional help. Now, a lot of people ask this when I'm teaching suicide classes around the, the country. Can you say the word suicide to a suicidal person? The answer is yes. Can you say, how are you going to hurt yourself to find out if it's a gun or if it's going to be you know, something horrific or jumping off a bridge or hanging themselves or burning themselves? Yes, you can ask them, how are you going to hurt yourself? Because there's that thing that a lot of us know from the old days called plan, means, and time, and that was an easy way of assessing a suicide. You can absolutely ask those questions. So this has only been two minutes on suicide and suicide prevention. We're gonna be doing three of these in a row. We're gonna talk about veteran suicide. We're gonna talk about a few more uh, skills that you can use during a suicidal caller. And then today that kind of opens up the dialogue and tells you that again, 123 people a day and 7,900 attempts of suicide every single day in America. Well, 901 is America's safety net, and here's some safety net ideas for dealing with the suicidal. Make it a great shift, and make sure you tune in next week, and you'll listen to part two.